sorry, my kids. Welcome everyone, benvenuti a tutti. Uh, today is October 10th, dieci ottobre. And October. Ottobre, Ottobre. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are Carlantini, Omaha and beyond. So we have California represented uh, by myself today, as well as Fred. Um, I'm in Auburn, California at the Public Library. And uh, we're, we're moving from one Airbnb to the next. Uh, we were in Truckee, California for four nights and now we're moving to Placerville. Uh, just in time, because the weather got a little chilly up in Truckee. Uh, mm as of yesterday, but we had a nice walk by Donner Lake. It was beautiful. Really cool. mm -hmm. And we, uh, we went to a craft fair in Olympic Valley. And I mean, I, I know I've been there before, but walking into that valley and then looking up at those sheer granite precipice, you know, the mountains just shoot up into the air uh amazing place so yeah you got to do it people ciao silvana benvenuta grazie benvenuta ciao cat benvenuta and tina ciao tina ciao cat okay now we got three california so how many Omahans do we have? We have Joanne and Mary Kay and Donna. And Don. mm -hmm. So the Californians outnumber the Omahans. I think uh, the behind is growing. Carlentini Omaha you... and behind. Oh, I didn't count the... Tina. There's Tina down there too. So you, so you guys are <laughs> even. We've got two Sicilians and- Yeah, let's see Shiliana. <laughs> Oh, well, no, you know, I'm a Sicilian. Well, yeah, we're all Sicilians. Mm -hmm. on I'm a Sicilian citizen, so I'm Sicilian. <laughs> oh, <laughs> technically, it's correct. <laughs> and I think it will move soon. Ora si trasferisce pure. So I am only going to speak. Yeah, Silvana will find the house in Villas Mundo for you. No, not Villas Mundo. <laughs> I'm going to be here till 12.30. So Joanne and Mary Kay are going to be the uh, the moderators for mm -hmm. the rest of the session. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, as far as the screen sharing aspect and that sort of thing, it'll be Joanne and Mary Kay. And then Eleonora will be a moderator as well. So, I will be here. Yes, I have a lot of uh, plenty my of things. My screen to do. does not look like my screen does not look like it normally does. And I have Zoom behind me, telling me that I have an update to do. So I'm not sure what's going on. Huh. I just maybe have, the system. All right. You're getting some uh, update updates. Uh, so maybe see, the Zoom. I see Eleonora and myself. <laughs> nobody else. Hmm. Hmm. If you go on the if you go on the left, you should have on your screen a little camera and then another no, circle. No, 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 it's just, I'm I'm clicking through, but it, uh, I got it all. I see everybody now. You're dead center, and I see you people across the top. But then every once in a while, the big blue zoom thing says I need to update. Oh. When it covers, hmm. so I'm not quite sure what's going on. Hmm. Well, so to get before out I go, I, I just wanted to uh, talk about the Lentini Cemetery for a second. Um, Eleanor, we had some message interchange about the Boy Scouts, but I'm not sure where we stand with that. Can you explain to me where we stand? Okay, so the Boy Scouts, um, the reparto that is uh, the kids, let's say, before the highest level that, that is um, 
uh, when they are older. So between uh, they're 13 and 17 years old, uh, those kids, they have to take a specialties. And uh, one of them is the specialty of photographers. So I talk with the, the responsible of the reparto. There are in every church, there is a reparto. So for example, in Lentini, I think we have four uh, groups in, in, in Lentini and two in Carlentini, Giusto Carlentini, one Carlentini due should be. So we have six reparti, around 30 kids per reparto. And, um, and uh, I'm trying to figure out uh, who among the responsible, so who speaks English? So I'm waiting for an email and I will, I will forward, forward the, the email to you. So far I talked with Miriana and uh, she lives in Lentini, but on November 7th, she's leaving to come to United States for two months and a half, almost three months. So she said, I would like to delegate us uh, someone else uh, because this is uh, the journey of her life as she finished the university and she's coming to visit the family and friends so for sure she's happy to follow up uh, the project next but um, I, I'm waiting for her answer to know who can be the responsible since the beginning and uh, I just told them that Erica will teach them how to download the app how to take the pictures and then put the pictures directly on the platform. So those are the news that I have. Okay, that sounds very encouraging. Yeah, they are craving to do that. The mm -hmm. kids, they have to take pictures um, and then uh, uh, they have to do it anyway. Mm -hmm. Silvana, hai capito quello che ho detto? Le specialità dei bambini del reparto, dei ragazzini, quando si prendono la specialità in nodi, in fotografia, cucinieri, ah, sì, 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 sì. quindi loro devono fare delle foto, basta che gli si dà una, un compito da fare, loro lo fanno. E quindi sto cercando di capire chi è che può seguire il progetto già dall'inizio, eh, c'è la, la, la cognata di mia sorella, la figlia della professoressa Fangano, Anna Rita, Ah, l'altra sua amica sì, sì. Miria, ah, Miriana la oh. professoressa di Erika sì e quindi le ho detto ditemi tra di voi perché loro sono capi ditemi chi è il capo sì. del reparto e così coinvolgiamo anche i lentinesi perché magari i carlentinesi dicono come come noi dobbiamo andare a Lentini a fare le foto I don't know what sì. about the il reparto di carlentini cosa tipo Monaco in uh, I should ask to share his cousin. Yeah, I have to ask yeah. him. Yeah, but uh, they said uh, they have to do pictures anyway, so we give them tasks and they will be happy to do it. Yeah, I mean, I don't really need to be involved, um, <clears throat> but but I would like to know, you know, who the people are and maybe have their contact information uh, so that I can pass it on to Erica or you know, if you want to just pass that information to Erica, that would be great. Um, mm -hmm. And yes. then I can, I can work through Erica and ask her to contact these people and kind of arrange the meetings. Yes. Yeah, I understand. And all of that must go on find a grave, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. For the portal find a grave. Quindi Erika dovrebbe insegnare loro a scaricare l'app e a caricare le foto in maniera corretta. Hi Susan. Hello, sorry I couldn't get my uh, video to work so I had to use my iPad but I finally figured it out. Welcome. Thank you. Benvenuta. <laughs> and it looks like you're in a library. I am, yeah, in California. In California. So, um, so Joanne, do you want to, um, can you show that chat uh, that uh, Anna wrote to me? Yep. Let me get to it here.
So see it? Um, no, no, I see Manganaro's. Uh, it must be up. Was it up farther? It was up further, yeah, I think. Oh. Maybe it's just, maybe if you just showed the Facebook chat. Oh, was yeah. it in was it in the Zoom one or was it in the other? Yeah, no, it's in that one. It's in that one. Um, oh, yeah, you went by it. I went by it. Yeah. This I think is it's, the one. Yeah, right there. The one that says Anna Vendetti. D3. Oh, is that the one you wanted to share? Oh, I thought you wanted to share the translated one. Okay. So, yeah, this is the one she... Yeah. Um, okay. So I received this message from Anna Vendetti Diedrich, who's the vice president of Santa Lucia. And it was regarding the location of the genealogy room. And she's offered to work with me in terms of um, getting that all worked out for the 2024 festival. Um, she was posing three options. One was the Sons of Italy Hall. The other was the Santa Lucia Hall. Well, well first, I guess, the Santa Lucia Hall. Then other possibilities were the Sons Hall and the, um, uh, the gym at the Parish Center. And Joanne, would you tell everybody what you just told me about the gym at the Parish Center? So the gym at the Parish Center, if you've been at the festival where um, the wine, where the wine table is at and the presidential thing, there's um, there's a way that you can walk in through the gym from the street level and they would open those doors. The only problem with that gymnasium is the sound in there is very echoey from what I remember growing up and I know they've done a lot of renovations, but I don't know if any of that has been changed um, because it can get, the louder it gets, the more you can't hear people talk. So that would be, if they give you that option, I mean, yes, it's a great location, but, and it would be great because, you know, maybe you could possibly move some of the history stuff in there with you, but, um, I would touch base with them on what the sound is like in there. Okay. And if I they will... tell you sons, then I mean you're I mean you're good to go there. There's nothing you would have to do there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my number one choice would be sons. Um, I think I don't know. I, between between the Santa Lucia Hall and that gym, I'm not sure which one is the better choice. And I know the the reason that they're the reason they gave last year for not using Suns was um, one that's where they supposedly count when they take the cash and they count the money. That's where the beer and the wine, the extra beer and wine, is stored. So I don't know if there's a workaround with that. I don't know if there's a room in Suns where they can go do that and not be out in the open, or can they actually go and count the money in the school where nobody can get into either? I, I mean, I don't know. Those are just things to throw out there. And ask them. I think it would be good to be up by the main festival. Mm -hmm. I, I agree. <laughs> more people and then um you know right. for us to get out and experience this festival as well mingle right and i don't I know is the, i'm assuming the community center is at next to the gym is off or not not available i don't i thought that was kind of too small for you guys <laughs> wasn't it kind of small nick the first year you were there or no no we were in the we were in the parish and the child christ center but you know the when you come down the steps from the church and there's, I thought it was a community room. I don't know what they call it. Mm -hmm. And then, then there's the gym. Yep. That room would be fine as well. You know, I don't want to step on toes, but I'm just wondering if it wouldn't be worth somebody like, like Mary Kate actually setting up a meeting to talk to father 
and and see what can be done because that really isn't I mean that really isn't our I mean that really isn't San Lucia festival that is that's something totally separate just like sons is totally separate that would be you working with the sons president to get in there not not with the San Lucia festival committee um so maybe I I mean sometimes when you have a middle person it gets lost like with what you what you want to do and what you're having because at sun when you guys have your thing you're done by a certain time so you don't go till nine o'clock at night when they're counting money and doing all of that stuff so um you know just a thought i mean i think the sons of italy hall would be the first choice and then the gym just for the location. <laughs> so Mary Kay, I put Anna's contact in there. Mm -hmm. If you mm -hmm. wanted to give her a call and just chat with her about it. Okay. I, I think uh, we should talk with Sherry for two reasons. Uh, first of all, she bought uh, a house in Little Italy, 9th Street, uh, next door to Charles Vendetti's home. And while she was looking for that house, she saw and she showed me at the end of the uh, at the end of the street uh, um, one block I think uh, same road as Orsi. There is a building with the, the red bricks outside and the the door that is like the corner is cut. It has a special entrance, and that one is on sale too. And is is vacant, is empty. So maybe we can ask if uh, is not sold or whatever. If we can rent it for a couple of days, this could be another idea, or just to use again um, the Santa Lucia hall or Sherry's house. We have to talk with her. Sherry sent me some pictures of her house, and she's got a long ways to go. <laughs> yeah i know i know but maybe for next summer it's gonna be ready i don't know it's, well it's, it's i told nice. her i would rent it from her if if she has it ready to go as an airbnb by then but uh is yeah. it unfinished oh yes it's unfinished <laughs> i just saw that yeah. one down in ninth and it has like the walkout basement yeah good for her yeah so, well, we have options, at least we have options, but I really like last year at Santa Lucia Hall. The thing is that the next year we were going to have maybe three times more people and the temperature mm -hmm. was not good. So the location itself is very fascinating and it will work for the next episodes, let's say, but not for next year. What do you think, Joanne? No, I mean, the like I told Nick, the air conditioning has been replaced, so it's brand new, so you don't have to worry about oh. that. Oh, ah, okay, didn't know. <laughs> so that, Sorry, I was so on that, the phone. That, that is a, that's a plus, so you don't have to worry about that. But um, I do agree. I mean, as far it's as more. space, it's not, it's not going to be large enough for you. And I don't know, um, to be close to the festival, Eleonora, maybe we need to talk with Sherry and see if there's a space in... The Pine Ridge School, which hmm. is right down the street, it's on the other side of the arch. Mm -hmm. If there's a space in the school that would be, you guys would be able to use there. She that, checked into that. She checked yeah. into that for us for um, last year, the, and it wasn't wasn't viable. It wasn't. Last uh, last year, when uh, we were at uh, the Cabrini Center, they gave us just that little room, but that building is huge. What's mm -hmm. what's in the other rooms? Is there another location that we can yes. use uh, inside the that building? So when you walk in that building upstairs, there is the there's one big large main room, and then off to the left, there's another big long room, and then there was a room that was downstairs on the first floor um, that was used when they had daycare and stuff. So there. There's several large areas in there, um, but they're not all in the same area. I mean, so you'd be you would be broken up, and I don't but, know how well that would work. I see. 
But uh, if uh, there is a, a room that can host us all together, do you think uh, that they will be up to give it to us, or they don't I don't think those rooms. I don't. I don't think those rooms are any bigger than the than the San Lucia Hall. I see. A uh, good point. Other, okay. than the, other than the gymnasium. Yeah. Sì. Now, Stiamo cercando di capire dove si può fare l'anno prossimo il centesimo perché saranno in tanti quelli che vengono per consultare i desk del de genealogia. Mm. So, Mary Kay, if you were willing Fine. to call Anna and mm. see if she has talked to Father already. Okay. And <clears throat> if she hasn't talked to Father, maybe, you know, if you guys were able to go down there and talk to Father and actually see the rooms, um, that Very, yeah. seems there's, ideal to me. There's one, okay. more op there's one more option, and I don't know what they're including this in, if they're including this as part of the school, but in the church, there's, between the church and the school, there's that breezeway. And when you go in that breezeway and you, and you go straight down the steps, that was that was kind of like the parish social hall at one time. It's and it those doors can be locked, so they they can be locked, so nobody would have access up to the other part of school or the gymnasium where any of the supplies are at. It's the area when you go for the for the spaghetti dinner if you were going to go get takeout. That's where they do it all, and that room there would be large enough for you guys to do something there. But I don't know if that's considered. Part of the school, part of the church. If their biggest concern is is what they've told us because when we said we wanted to rent out the gym, why couldn't we rent the gym from the school? Their biggest concern was the alcohol. They didn't want people in the school with alcohol. Now, nothing's going on. School's not in session, but I don't, I don't. So that's why I said I don't know who's communicating with who. So there's mm. there are too many middlemen in between you getting your answers. Yeah, we need a, a I think Nico, you are the best one to be considered at least for next year the responsible of the genealogical group. And uh, and then through you, we will talk with Anna and and uh, Sherry and uh, Todd, above all Todd, and all the other people involved for next year because they are aware. What, which location is available and where we can go, yeah. Yeah, my we'll main thing would be to try to get it settled early. Mm -hmm. Like we were we were down to the wire in terms of getting the decision. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. I'll yeah, reach out to Anna this week and touch base. Thank you, Mary Kay. And, you know, if, if um, if you can go look at some of the spaces, that would be really handy. Mm -hmm. And then maybe we could follow it up with a little Zoom meeting where we could discuss it. Okay. And, um, you know, maybe you, me, uh, Joanne, Anna, in a Zoom meeting. Mm -hmm. Is Anna in Omaha? Right now, yeah. yeah, she is. Right now, she's in Minnesota on vacation. And what she's with her family. She lives here. Okay. Keep responding. Yeah, you can. But yeah, she lives. Oh, there. I didn't know she was traveling. When does she get back? Um. Well, we have a meeting on Wednesday, so I'm sure she'll be back before then. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Well, it's twelve twenty-five. So, does anybody you... need anything yeah. from me before I go? Yeah, I have two more info, important ones. Okay. We won the grant with Carlentini Omaha Association. So we have 100,000 euros to be spent to digitalize culture. You knew Yay. that. Yay! <laughs> so it will be included in this project as well, the digitalization of the registers for genealogical researchers. And hmm. this will be... Um, brick of a, a bigger wall that will be part of researches. So we have specialists uh, in terms of uh, anthropologists uh, and people who studied the, the waves of emigration. And this uh, professor already wrote one book about the emigrants from Calabria to Argentina, Tiziana Nicotera, 
that I met last year at the um, International Conference for Tourism of Roots that uh, takes place every year in Matera on November 20th and November 21st. I will go again this year um, myself, my my own expenses. The, the city is not uh, cooperating in this part. But the connections are very important. And as soon as we needed a, a teacher able to make researches, it will be created a book and then a virtual museum. So the main uh, goals of this grant are to create, a, to create a platform where we will start building our museum with interviews, podcasts, letters, uh, pictures. And then we can as well approve translations of books from English to Italian and vice versa, digitalization of existing books. So we have plenty of work to do. The responsibles uh, will be located in several places and then we will have a, a documentary as well that will take place in Sicily, New York, as Ellis Island and then Omaha. So we are hiring cameramen and the companies who are able to send invoices and then the bureaucratic bureaucrat part is going to be the mayor talking about that so that's an important thing next year for the next 18 months our grant has started on um, september 27th when i send the papers signed as Carlentini Omaha Association. And um, there is a company here in Sicily for communication and they will take care of opening the association to everybody with memberships. So those who are supporting the Sister City project and all the projects that we're doing, they, they will discuss about the fee or whatever. And finally, we will move forward on those things. And that's an important news. And then the other news is that uh, the high school they asked to be involved. Uh, so finally, I had uh, someone asking me, oh, can, can we do something? Because the high schools in Omaha, they are ready. But at the high schools here in Lentini, I asked to several teachers that so they were not interested in to follow up uh, all the projects. So it's a lot of work. I don't blame them. But finally, one teacher with David Randall uh, cousin, Milena Salerno, she said, uh, I want to be the responsible for that. I was like, thanks, God, somebody's telling me something. So she will take care of the prog program like one year abroad and summer schools. Summer schools, and then with that I finish, will be the part where we will involve the community. So we, we will need the families so hosting kids coming from here. It can be 15 kids, can be 25. And for two weeks, they will come and then they will spend time in the families. And the same over here. So that's going to be very important. And on October 22nd, we have a teacher of biomechanic coming from UNO visiting the University of Catania, and that's going to be extra work. So the university keeps going. Wow. Um, trying to make a long story shorter. Silvana, I, I, a grande linea, ho detto che, perché adesso Nick se ne sta andando, che finalmente abbiamo concretizzato la, la cosa del bando, che ci sono questi 100.000 euro da usare per digitalizzare libri, e abbiamo dei budget anche per i traduttori, per fare traduzioni, per scannerizzare i registri, dovrà essere tutto um, registrato con delle, con, con delle fatture, eccetera, la parte burocratica non me ne occuperò, io ovviamente ci sarà un tavolo tecnico con... Una, Uh, contabili, commercialisti non, non ho mai fatto una cosa del genere però il sindaco ha detto che metterà a disposizione il suo, il suo personale ah. e... noi a scuola poi... li facciamo e, eh, deve essere uh, excuse, excuse me I'm going to say goodbye okay. um, but uh, I want to thank everyone for coming today and uh, uh, Eleonora, Joanne and Mary Kay You are a number one team. Take it from here. We are all number one team. All of us is priceless. Okay, so I'm going to hit end. And then I'm just going to leave meeting. Ciao. Gonna... Enjoy. Okay, Say Joanne, hi. Joanne, you are...
You are Ma dove uh, sei, Nick? A in host. California, eh. quindi c'è Robin. Ma è dentro una biblioteca? Sì, era dentro una biblioteca. C'è Robin che fa shopping e lui era in biblioteca e adesso deve andare. Aveva solo mezz'ora per stare con noi. Oh, okay. uh, è in vacanza, sì. E quindi Vabbè. questo, il, il bando, poi te lo spiego con più precisione. Ti faccio vedere anche mm. i documenti perché sicuramente coinvolgeremo anche Erika. Um, e poi come sì, ehm... all'università che l'hanno preso per fare il testo di sostegno in base <ride> alle sue, dis... sì, in base certo, alle alle sue disponibilità alle sue certo. eh, e poi l'altra è che Milena Salerno vuole coinvolgere la scuola superiore quindi eh. finalmente abbiamo qualcuno che si occuperà di prendere i progetti in mano perché le scuole superiori sono state un po' trascurate. E invece dobbiamo, 22... dobbiamo dire che anche ad Alfredo Sgron. Eh, sì, io ho bisogno di gente che mi toglie il lavoro dalle mani, non che io non debba so. seguire. Quindi so. io spero Vuole che ci sia. che sia esperto anche esatto, nel, nel fare i progetti. Mm -hmm. E poi l'ultima cosa che ho detto è che ad ottobre il 22 viene un professore dell'università a visitare l'Università di Catania, biomeccanica. Ora poi ti faccio vedere il curriculum, ti aggiorno, eh, però non ho capito ancora il programma. Quindi vediamo. Let's see what's, uh, what's next. Qualcuno ha detto che si possa occupare del progetto nella scuola superiore. Cioè qualcuno mm -hmm. che ha esperienza di questi... Oh. We need the people with experience uh, in terms of high schools sì. um, managing. Eh, però ci sono delle persone che io magari posso conoscere se vuoi. Poi un po' di mentor locale, vediamo che possiamo fare. Per esempio, professionale per il commercio c'è gente che si occupa sempre di queste cose. Mm -hmm. Potrebbe vedere di mm -hmm. facendo. Sì. Parlando con qualcuno. So, who, who is planning to come to, to Sicily next here? Is there someone who's planning? Ah, I was feeling. Sto dicendo, chi è che sta ide ideando di venire in Sicilia? Fred, when are you planning to come? Next Fred year? Vuoi a luglio. Luglio? Col bene che ti voglio. Nanni, nanni. Vedrai, non finirà. Ai, 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 ai. <ride> luglio mi hai fatto... So, buono, stiamo a casa tu. Va bene, io ti aspetto. <coughs> Beautiful. You're going to make a good Rooney. Dean. I'm coming in February. Oh, interesting. Which days? Do you know that? The first two weeks, the first through the 14th. Okay, good. Have you bought already the flight tickets? Yes. I'm flying in tomorrow. Uh -huh. Febbraio viene, viene di... We will keep in touch. I will be in Naples uh, the second week of February. I think from the 7th. I'm going to go to Napoli area for, for work. But, um, go but we, can, uh, we can keep in touch and we will meet here. Nice. And how is going on at the documentary? Uh, we're finishing it up next week, I think. But it's not going to come out till like March, next March. Okay, so you're still filming there. Right. Nice. And what about Kat? What about you? Are you still striking? With the with your job, are you back again? Update us. Well, I'm not striking. It was the writers and the actors. Um, that the writers have settled and the actors are in negotiations. They've been talking, which is good. As long as they're talking, that's a good mm -hmm. sign. So mm -hmm. fingers crossed if everything goes well, we have a potential start date, but I don't want to jinx anything. <laughs> so yeah, this don't uh, don't say it for good. No, luck. I won't say it out loud, <laughs> but See, see. Yeah. So now, how many weeks have you been uh, out of work, let's say? I've been out of work since May 1st. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's a long yeah. time. But it was slow before that. I ended my show in February and had did very little work from February to May because they didn't want to start anything because they knew it was going to happen. So it's no, really lei, slow, parte... slow eight months. Yeah. CSI, lo sai quel telefilm che ogni tanto si vede CSI New York, CSI Las Vegas, lei è. 
-hmm. eh, e giustamente siccome fanno tantissime puntate adesso gli attori e i registi hanno fatto uno sciopero perché volevano pagati, essere pagati meglio volevano delle condizioni migliori e quindi lei non ha lavorato da maggio adesso and what, what do you do? I mean do you have a, a side job? Um... I saved up money for this so uh, I did okay but it just now ran out and unemployment ran out so I'm maybe like one or two months on my savings so I'll be okay yeah okay that's tough that's something it reminds me covid my it's worse than covid to go away <laughs> way worse, worse than covid true. because no. everybody's go is back to their life and the only ones who are not working is you yeah i understand and are you lo are you located in la yes i live in the burbank yeah. area yeah lei mm -hmm. anche in california los angeles beautiful area well i will be in omaha in uh, January for one week. And Eleonora, oh, Jen, sure. <laughs> Jen, Jen Mandoffel, Eleonora is going to be in touch with you about what she wants um, you to bring for the, for the gala, for their auction. So I told her to reach out to you. Si, si, si. So good, yeah. good she'll job. My luggage will be full of nice things. I can carry... I can carry the portraits, I can carry books. Uh, let's, uh, let's do it, I will be happy to do it. I have a big uh, 50 pounds uh, luggage included in my flight. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I, I, think they have a meeting. I think they have a meeting tonight. So the auction mm. people, so they should be meeting tonight on that. Okay, I will come uh, second, the second week of, uh, I'm sorry, Dean. You're not coming for the gala in December? No, the gala is in there April. Is, there, there is no gala this year in December, Dean. No, they are organizing a new gala next April. That's what uh, Joanne was saying last time for an auction to raise money for Santa Lucia Festival. In this moment, uh, Sicula Italia Foundation, uh, we are not organizing the gala this year because we are pretty busy with the grant and uh, the ceremony that will be next year, that will take place at the ceremony of Sister City. But uh, now we are waiting for Oscar because we don't know the exactly day. So people, they're waiting, everybody's waiting here. The producers to come and eventually sell products during Santa Lucia is gonna be close to Santa Lucia, it's gonna be another moment. And people they have to buy their flight tickets and everything, so we are all waiting for them. I hope that they will let us know soon. My my wish uh, is is uh, the Thursday before the festival, before everything starts. When usually we step on the stage, when usually there is the mayor stuttered, so we can think about the ceremony, it's done, and then bye-bye, and then we focus on the 100. Because I think that after Santa Lucia, the Sunday night, we finished super late with the dancing. And then the Monday, people, they want to sleep. And then Thursday is going to be closer and closer to the opening of schools. And maybe the stage won't be available anymore. And then let's say the moral, the vibes, they go like, uh, like everything is gone. Everything is finished. Let's go back to our lives. So I like to do it uh, just uh, a little bit before. So I'm sending this message to the universe. Um, let me see. Well, I can tell you that I can tell you that um, on Monday we have to be out of the street and have everything torn down. Um, it has to be done by that. Like day. like so, a, nothing yeah. has happened, right? So right. it could be August the first. So yeah, Thursday night is the first night of the festival, which would be, that would be the best night to kick that off. The 1st of August, the ceremony of Sister mm -hmm. Cities. Mm -hmm. hmm? yeah. yeah. That would be the so best. So that's, uh, speriamo che giorno, che okay, Oscar, stiamo aspettando Oscar che ci dia la data precisa, tutti quanti stiamo aspettando di fare biglietti e tutto per la prossima estate. E vorremmo che fosse il giovedì sera prima della festa, perché poi dopo la festa devono smontare tutto e anche l'aria la, di festa se ne va. E quindi sarebbe bello farla sul palco, perché c'è un momento che ogni anno il sindaco 
eh, i sindaci, insomma la sindaca mh, fa un, una, un intervento e ci sono tutte le autorità sul palco e quello potrebbe essere un buon momento. But I have no idea about the location, if it's going to be on a stage, if it's going to be Durham Museum, that's Oscar, I have no idea. So we are still waiting, everybody. Oh, okay. Okay. Oscar è un organo governativo che sta per Omaha Sister Cities Association. Se tu clicchi su online OSCA, già Omaha ha altre sette città gemelle. Um, e la Omaha Sister City Association è l'ente governativo che decide chi può essere città gemelle e chi no. E nel caso di Omaha siamo fortunati che abbiamo un organo del genere. Non so se tutte le città americane ce l'hanno. I don't know if uh, other cities in the United States they have a, a governative organ like Oscar. For example, Chicago or well, no, Louisiana. Who sits, on that, who sits on that committee, Eleonora? Who makes the decisions? Uh, so our responsible... Uh, Uh, yesterday I found a picture of the first first reunion when they asked me like 30 people in front of me. Um, I found uh, this picture, 30 people in front of me asking me questions about uh, why should we give you the sister city recognition? Why is convenient for Omaha? Why Carlentini is so special? What's Carlentini economy? So you can recognize Craigton here. Mm -hmm and his face <laughs> while I was answering. And then um, there is a Silan, La Greca. She, there was Carl, Carmelita that day. Um, le, um, I think it's Larry. And then there were and Andy. I don't know if you know those people. And then uh, Sherry, and then obviously Silan, yeah. So our our responsibles are still Silan and Craigton and then another lady that is new, but then they changed the president recently, Terry. So Terry, um, Terry, 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 hmm. Oscar, I'm sorry, I'm not remind, I don't remember the, um, the, family name let me see i i i come in one second because i send a screenshot of the last email to mayor stefio allora come che si chiama carlentini bla 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 executive committee daniela charlie oscar steve steve jords should be President of Omaha Sister Cities Association, Steve. Yeah. So they will decide for us. And that's quite easier rather than go through the Italian bureaucracy. Through the Italian bureaucracy, maybe in 20 years, so we were going to have it, maybe. At least with the Americans, Uh, in less than five years, we obtain a sister city agreement that's important. Sì. Con la burocrazia italiana più di vent'anni ci avremmo messo. So we are thinking about uh, involving locals here in Carlentini who are willing to sell their products. Uh, and I have no idea how it works. Uh, if they can have a little spot outside. Scusa, Eleonora. Poi... Eleonora. Mm -hmm. Per portare i prodotti in America oggi è difficile perché ci sono le programme e tutto questo. Quando si ottiene questo gemellaggio diventa più facile oppure non cambia nulla? Cosa no, non cambia, perché... non, non cambia niente perché non cambia niente perché ho un mio caro amico a Chicago che sta cercando olio disperatamente e io ho selezionato una ventina di aziende importanti per lui, gli sto dando una Ascolta, mano. C'è mio cugino che produce l'olio, eh? Eh, ma la metà non ha le certificazioni per esportare negli Stati Uniti, non hanno le etichette. E lui ce l'ha, però dice che ha avuto problemi, c'è cioè, molti problemi con l'avvocato. Serve, serve un processo dall'altra parte, FIDA, come il nostro HCCP, ci vogliono anche dall'altra parte l'importatore, 
e del, delle figure che adesso sto studiando per aiutare un po' Vedi la un po', gente. perché mio cugino è pronto a fare questo, si fa Dammi il bottiglia il contatto. d'olio. Ah, Dammi vedi il che contatto esce. Marco perché... lo conosci, ma Marco Rizzo lo conosci. Ah, Marco, ok, ok. Mm Yes, -hmm. beh, lui, il So, fratello Silvana, è mio, she's asking, suo papà. after, her question is, uh, when we will obtain the recognition of being sister cities, uh, is, is it easier to sell products in the United States? And uh, I just said, uh, it won't to change anything to be sister cities because every single enterprise needs to spend money to obtain the labels and all the um, uh, papers that they needed to export to the United States. What we can do is to use, uh, uh, for example, all the connections of the city uh, to let them know how to do it or create a platform that will... Uh, put in touch directly Carlentini with Omaha and they can open a dialogue and they can update their products there easy, easily. This is something that we can do connected to the Sister City project. But obviously this is an important, one of the most important goals to let the people here being able to sell to United States. So just in this way, we can make the difference and don't let them close their activities. And uh, vice versa, so Americans coming here, maybe having uh, discounts if they have, uh, if they rent an Airbnb or if they go to restaurants. So because our goal as a Sicilians is to make more money with the products that we have that we can export we are already ready and um, and create more commerce more income so because people here are starving and on the other side we need to create a, a little um, America a little a little Italy in United States through the products So people, they can have uh, olive oil and all the things that they know very well uh, and, and have access to the products, as access to the services, access to their tailor-made tours, maybe, because the products and the connections, uh, they will help to strengthen the Italian culture over there. Those are, what do, what do you think about that? Are there other aspects that you think are important uh, besides the food and the traveling? What's, uh, what's the luck in the United States um, in terms of um, what can help uh, Americans with uh, an Italian background nowadays uh, to let them feel more connected with the Italian culture? I know if they want I know to. Creighton is has is starting this summer a study abroad with Bologna. Hmm. So yeah. they they've been working with with them. And I know Sherry asked me why there. It's <laughs> like I don't know why they chose that. I said that's where they chose. They chose Bologna. So they're because they're because pretty, Emilia Romagna they do everything good properly. Starting so so I think the more that you can do that with 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 students studying abroad and back and forth, it it helps. Yes, and uh, be in the territory, and visit Italy and stay longer and absorb the Italian culture. Yes, almost like doing residencies. Like even if you had healthcare that would do residencies in in Italy. setting up things like that I mean, anything where you could open up more I, I think the more you reach with the younger the, be the better you are because the older people are gonna are gonna want like you said they, they know the food they know what they want with that but as far as like the younger ones those are the ones that you know plus you don't stories, have to the stories aren't told you know so but going there and experiencing hmm. it Um, is a totally different different thing than just being told. The stories untold. Joanne, this could be the, the title of the chapter dedicated to the podcast. I'm writing down immediately. 
before I forget the stories <laughs> untold, le, le storie non raccontate. That's true. Interesting. Interesting. Sì, sì, so vi saluto it. perché sono troppo stanca. Va bene, va bene Silvana, buonanotte. Ciao, ciao, buonanotte, ci vediamo la prossima buonanotte. volta. Ciao. Poi ci sentiamo. Sì, so, ok Silvana, ti abbraccio. So, I will ciao, be grazie. in Omaha. Buonanotte. Uh, ciao, notte, ciao. Gioia. Uh, ciao. Between the 8th and the 16th, and hopefully I will have again uh, some wine classes and cooking classes. Mm, cooperation with Metro so I'm very excited and then the next year for sure um, we will be there I will be there and the people there are getting ready here in Carlentini to come so I hope that we will find the best hotel for them with the best prices and And maybe Airbnb, things like that. And then we have to rent a bus for the for the tour. Tonight, uh, Marianne Sofia is not here, but um, uh, sooner we will take back the itinerary that we wrote with Sherry and everybody uh, who was involved. So we do it again. So I think that uh, we are a very virtuous uh, example of sister cities. We are not the sister cities yet, but we are busier than other sister cities who are already uh, recognized as sister cities. So amazing communities. You know, Eleonora, one thing they do here, at least at my kids' high school, is that they, they do spring break trips. And, you know, I know they do Rome and do other parts, but I don't know if And I'm not sure which organization puts it together, but if you could get them to go fully. Um, you know, I wonder, I want, this is a good point. I wonder if there are high schools studying like Italian culture who organize, for example, how do you call those events where people that dress the, the historical ancient dresses pretending that they're Viking or The, there is a name for that. How do you call it? Like historic uh, reenactment? Re reenactment? Like reenacting? Reenacting. Yeah, something. I have never used this word in, no. uh, in Italian because in Italy it doesn't exist that much. <laughs> But I figured out that uh, every year in April there is a, a big. Um, Uh, association in Rome where thousands of people they dressed up like gladiators and uh, they go around with the Roman dresses so seeing that it is in the springtime that is exactly the moment when the kids they love traveling may be interesting to combine uh, two three days four days whatever in Rome let them breathe the real Roman atmosphere with all those actors dressed with ancient dresses and then come to Sicily. Coming from the opposite side of the world, it would be a shame to do not let them stay three, four days in Rome. This would be the, like a the trip, an unforgettable, a long life, unforgettable trip. So what I'm planning to do for the high schools, there was one who was interested, is to plan uh, two weeks uh, spending four days in Rome and then 10 days in uh, Sicily. And this could be a great compromise because they have to pass through Rome anyway to take uh, to change flight. My, my high schoolers loved Rome. They thought that they could have been mm -hmm. willing to go back and like tomorrow I would let them. Oh yeah, it's true. Even as Italians, when every time we go to Rome, you can be to Rome It can be in Rome a hundred times. It's always beautiful. You never say like, okay, I have enough about Rome. I don't want to see Rome anymore. Never, never happens. Yeah. Isn't it, Scott? You go like, hey, maybe there is another corner that I haven't seen. No, I don't like Rome. You see it once, I'm sorry. I like really? This. Oh, you yeah. are an, an, an exception. I like it. I like exceptions. You go like, yeah. okay, Colosseum. This... I like Florence better than Oh, you I like, like the towns, better. The I see. Beautiful. That's um like that's very interesting. So personal. All big right. Cities are so, big cities no matter what. 
I like the smaller. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you for sure you will love Umbria and Tuscany and all the little villages, Monte Pulciano, San yeah. Marino. Mm -hmm. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you let me know if you want to keep going. I think uh, without a Nick is different because we cannot work on uh, genealogical <laughs> researches. Plus tonight uh, uh, we don't have uh, people uh, willing to do that. Luckily, otherwise uh, I don't know from where we should start. Maybe Dean knows how to help. Um, but uh, if you have other topics to share, we keep going. Otherwise we can meet again next week and then we shut in one hour. I think was important tonight uh, anyway, as always. So we did a, a great brainstorming about the location for next year, an All important right. upgrade about the projects that are going on. If I show you the the 14 pages that we prepared for Oscar, <laughs> you're gonna put uh, you're gonna put your hair hands on your hair and be like, when when the hell did you do that? <laughs> we we're doing it unbelievable. Yeah, so we're doing so much and this is part of uh, every small bricks will make the difference. So, Mary Kay, Joanne, moderators. Anyone else have anything they want to talk? I'm gonna just be back next week. Right, I think they covered all the important things. It was good to get together and to hear what's going on, but I'm trying to watch the news, so. <laughs> Sorry to bother you. <laughs> yeah, the, the only other thing that Nick had was that if anybody had anybody that um, wanted to like have have a speaker for the Zoom meeting, he's looking for anybody to like come talk to us. So if you have any connections, do you think anybody would be interesting to come visit with us? Um, just I would just reach out to him. Yeah. yeah, our Mrs. Zito wants to join us. I just have to work with her. Uh, Liliana? No. Oh, maybe nice. Yeah. See, see. So I'm, yeah, I'm gonna find a time. It might be November, but I'm gonna try to for have her come here. Or she she found me at church and she said she's ready to be on the Zoom call. Okay. Well, I have some characters that I would like to have. Your father, Mary Kay, Liliana, and Rosetta, that is uh, um, Alfio Galliolo's wife. That's another one that is a, an interesting uh, storyteller. She, see, she, she's special. Um, I'm so happy for that. Uh, okay, so let's work on it. And uh, I will wait for Jen for, uh, because I, I wanted to know how can we create items so that can be interesting for the auction. So maybe we have to work on it in advance. I can ask a local local artists uh, in terms of handcraft uh, right. uh, to cooperate together and create uh, something connected with Sicily and Omaha, I don't know, just the Sicilian things and made. You just will tell us, uh, I know that bottles of wine are the favorite things usually, and olive oil as well. Right. But could be, I mean, it could be products. Yeah, we can get some other different things, you know, like Luciano, if we could get his, you know, if we figure out what he wants to do with his paintings, you know, things like that would be, would be good. So, I mean, I, I know, what, you know what we, had, we had the auction last year, which was just a test. That's why mm -hmm. we did it last year was just kind of a test run on how we, you know, did the things of lighting the arch and the things. So it was just kind of a test year to see what we wanted to do. And we made close to $2,000 on just those little bits that were out there. So mm. pretty good. What What about embroidery? Do you think that local, like like here we have a lot of flea markets and things like that yeah. where they sell embroidery? Or is there something that the Americans, they like in particular about the Sicilian culture? What I love is like these little necklaces we picked up that so uh-huh see see those are, those, those are over yeah. there yeah. and you you know i, I, I think in, anything that is in anything that is unique and you know if you do the embroidery i mean they could take that and they could have it framed and you know i mean things like that would 
you know, anything that could be a touch of Italy, is, people oh, Italy. Would, would want. Mm -hmm. or, or Eleanor, I don't know. Remember we saw at Rosetta um, Nastasi's house, the the painting that Jeremy Coniglia did for her of Santa Lucia? For example. Yeah. And he, <laughs> to be honest, I don't know if, if he'd be willing to do anything or if he'd mm. he, he um, Jeremy is um, at going through uh, treatment right now for cancer. Okay. So he, um, the last I heard, he was checked in to do I think they were going to try and do stem cells. So um, I haven't heard much back of how he's doing, but I know, so having him do anything for us right now is probably not, I don't think is, I don't know, like I said, I mean, I know he's still teaching part of the mm -hmm. time. So I don't know how really out of it is, but the last I knew is that they were, he was checking in to, to have some stem cell transplants done so i see fingers crossed and prayers said that that they work hmm. it's supposed to work on our documentary yeah i don't know if he is or not yeah usually in sicily the most represented image is this one of santa yeah. lucia and that's okay. the one that um luciana painted and wants to have give to the festival to be put in the hall in in recognition of his family mm -hmm. So. Yeah, so this could be, uh, for example, uh, in my next tour, so we have to create a, a Joanne and with those who are thinking about this auction, could be Jen, could be Mary, um, a drive. So I can upload the pictures that I see around of souvenirs and things. So for example, um, in Syracuse are very popular little postcards made with papyrus paper mm -hmm. um the postcards uh, they're not very expensive they cost three euros each and they represent the santa lucia sicily uh, fiat 500 cars and they are not that big so they can be sell sold for example ten dollars and and i can buy a lot over here and take them with me different uh, topics or the necklace. I can look around and take inspiration seeing that I'm still working for the next two months till December 20th. So what, what about some of these things that you shared? Mm -hmm. you this is chocolate. Okay. This is uh, chocolate bars and then you can see magnets. Yeah. And then that's a nougat. That's yeah. Right. I can take pictures of the souvenirs uh, and then share them on Facebook and, and see what people they say. But uh, from this moment on, I will look at them with the selection of uh, right. what can be sell. During because the what auction. they can do with little things like this, they can create like a basket, right. you know, they can create one thing. And so it wouldn't be, you know, just the chocolates. It would be like a whole basket full of something that they could, they could put together. And that the baskets, obviously, they will cost more. Right. Because you can put a bottle of wine, a little yeah. things, some mm -hmm. souvenirs, and, the, yeah. and then they, they're going to go like uh, $100, $200 yeah. each bottle. Right. Yeah, I think we have uh, plenty of time to cooperate under this point of view. I'll avoid the ceramics because they can break easily. Uh, and yes, 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 to a table, cloth table mm -hmm. like napkin where we can yep. dry our hands mm -hmm. and things for the breakfast uh yeah okay i think also you could because we have these cemeteries um being photographed if we could get an index and we could ask like this could be like an unlimited item because so i printed this one off this is from a cemetery photo, but I wonder if people oh. would be willing to pay to have someone print these for them. Hmm. Really, you know, it costs like four or five dollars to get this. If if we would have a list, like, is your relative? Do we have a picture of your relative? Because they may not have these photos, because these photos are a hundred right. you know, years old. Yeah. And no. if, if people sign up, 
and then we melt. Yeah, and then they send the, the, the pictures. So that's another good, uh, interesting idea. Um, okay, let's let's uh, prepare a document so we can uh, collect all of those ideas. And then uh, close to, in every single uh, touristical city in Sicily, Palermo, Taormina, uh, Ragusa, Modica, where I live, uh, Syracuse, everywhere now it's a chain. There is this uh, beautiful, ciao Andy, hi. I think we have new people tonight. <laughs> There is a this a this a shop of the colors of the sun where there are just a Sicilian artists and they they take um, uh, they make um, for example dresses tablecloths hers that are um, hand handmade painted this is a purse for example with the faces of the Moorish heads a very tasteful. Um, this, are my... this, this is the site that she has that she's sharing. Yeah. I think things yeah. like this would, would go great. Yeah. Uh, all, every time I take their, my guest from the United States, they love everything. Mm -hmm. The jewels made with the, the almonds and the jacaranda and then the seeds of pickly pears or the bags, uh, t-shirts, uh, decorations for the house, so little ceramics. So if you think that some from there can, can be the right thing, I can buy them and then take them. Um, this could oh. be another idea, for example. Yeah, I'll share very, this. I'll share this with them so that they they can see it too. So that would be that would be good. Very, very Sicilian. Mm -hmm. so made by artists is not uh, like a Chinese stuff right mm. those would be good yeah I felt in love with these little tablecloths today but I was with my guests I didn't want to steal their time look how cute it is with the lemons isn't it mm. yeah for breakfast I will go there and I will buy it one for me next time and lemons is what Samantha she's doing the event. That's what she wants to do for the decorations is is the lemons because it'll be April. It'll be spring. It'll be perfect. I I have a, an illness with lemons. I have to tell you because uh, in in my grandma's countryside that I bought, everybody was fighting to sell me that house because of one lemon tree. Can you believe that? Everybody was like. Oh, well, those are our favorite lemons. In the last uh, 40 years, we have picked uh, those lemons. Uh, and I was like, I, I will give the lemons to you. You, you can make a limoncello. And I was like, I will collect uh, in that house uh, portraits saying, uh, if, if life gives you lemons, and then make a limoncello, make a lemonade. It's mm -hmm. like, it was funny. And then I'm collecting now. I saw in Noto last week, uh, in a beautiful shop or something different because usually they have uh, everything is the same nowadays there was this fantasy that is a beautiful mix between the lemons and the olive trees very tasteful and those are new tablecloths and then pillows. So I, I take pictures all over all about the prices. I took pictures of the prices. Um, yeah, I think I have some problems with lemons. I like them too much. <laughs> Whatever represents lemons. And then we have in Sicily as well, companies making soaps, like um, this shape. I don't think I have one with <laughs> Let me open my drawers. So, for example, I have those those are ceramics for table decoration. Here, put the flowers, mm -hmm. and those are to I don't know put something for aperitif. So, and and some they are like lemons to wash your hands. You have soaps. So little by little in Sicily, they are giving. There is a, at the entrance of Lawrence and Garden a shop where I was shocked about the researches of, of the patterns in terms of um, 
um, in terms of design. So there was the mushrooms corner, the bees corner, and uh, I don't know, all the flowers with the fuchsia, all the flowers with the lila, all the flowers with the yellow and roses. Uh, so it was beautiful. And then you immediately recognize that you have brands around. In Sicily, we, we could do that because the nature is so astonished. But um, beside the colors of the sun, nobody else has done it with the bougainville. Ciao, Fred. Ciao, Fred. <laughs> Enjoy. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. So, yeah, we can work on it and uh, create a, a lot of uh, interesting attractions for the auction. I think those people. Oh, you know, could... how about aprons? Because those aprons. are pretty popular. Yeah, when, aprons. I, when I was there, I, I brought a couple of them you know, with the lemons and that, and I need to get mm -hmm. so many different ones. Plus, they're very easy to pack. You yeah, pick up a lot of space and that's like... aprons and things for the kitchen. Yeah, I agree right. as well. Okay, so we we will work on it, and then January I can come with the first, uh, let's say, delivery, <laughs> and then uh, the rest can be sent. Yes, definitely. Va bene. All right. So see you next week. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Bye, ciao, ciao a tutti. Grazie. Ciao, ciao a tutti. Ciao. ciao.